everybody. My name is Mandy Brown, also known as the Relatable Counselor, and welcome to the Thinking Corner. If you don't know what this is, it's an extension of our mental health website called Well, What Had Happened Was. And so our website is dedicated to all things mental health. It's also a space where people can tell their own stories dealing with mental health, get facts behind it, and get a relatable factor. And also, we offer resources from the national hotlines to what we do in the communities and also aligning you with a therapist. And so what we do for the Thinking Corner, we meet in person once or twice a year in the communities to have these events surrounded by a theme. And so our theme this year is I'm glad that you're still here. And that solely focused on suicide awareness. So go ahead and check out this episode. Again, this is just a quick recap of what we did in the community, what we were handing out and even a quick discussion with one of the community leaders. I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, we are here and I am done setting up. Come check us out at the Holistic Care Fair here at 1310 Moneta Avenue. All right, hey everybody, my name is Mandy Brown. I am the table in the back called Where What Had Happened Was um, and also the Relatable Counselor. Uh, what What Happened Was is a storytelling mental health website Um, So it's like a mental health Reddit where you can come in and talk about anything you would like pertaining to mental health. Also get aligned with therapists. You can also um, be connected and have the directory for all national hotlines pertaining to mental health, uh, domestic violence, sexual uh, assault, anything that is needed. We do have a 24-hour chat line. So if you need something in the middle of the night, feel free to click it. If you are into books, we do have a person that can... Uh, give you book referrals to anything that you would like. We do do community service, as you can see, all things pertaining to mental health and more. Um, So if you would like to volunteer, uh, tell us about any table events or any panels, we are open and welcome to it. And in the fall, we are launching support groups. So those support groups consist of domestic violence, suicide awareness, um, parenthood and community violence, and also just to be in a group with other people like-minded like you. challenges Um, initially I thought that it all was rooted from being a victim Mm -hmm. of domestic violence but then I realized I was also an aggressor Mm -hmm. Um, and that was 27 years of you know just being in an unhealthy marriage and contributing to that situation yes and from there that's when I started going to Centerstone for anger management and from that point um, I started becoming more self-aware and the self-awareness I had to consider you know all the things all the tools that they gave me to apply to my life to change everything and it wasn't really I was diagnosed with bipolar Mm -hmm. and I thought that it was not an accurate diagnosis because it wasn't quite denial then (laughs) I went through that phase later but um, with that diagnosis I thought that it was kind of premature because it was during COVID I just lost my mother like six years prior I mean six years prior six months prior and um and i just had brain surgery so all of that happened within the same time that i was diagnosed bipolar and i'm like 
Like, do you think all these are just coming and then boom, you just pick the diagnosis? Yes, like, how is this right, thinking? right. Yeah. We just jumped straight to that, right? Now, I did take this QMB test and they did oh, yeah. tell me I was ADHD. And I kind of can see that, you uh -huh. know, considering that the whole pressure speech and talking a lot and all that, I can't, I don't sort of pump the brakes on that, but not much. <laughs> but again, the self-awareness plays a role because once you know it, you can kind of, you know, realize when you need to focus and settle down. Right. So that's where I am. But um, back to the domestic violence, when I consider all the history, all the generational curses and all the things that I have experienced throughout my life, primarily my childhood, I see the role that that played in my marriage. Yeah. And then I think back like, you know, when everybody be like, oh, that's the one that'll fight everybody and she crazy and I'll call her to get you, you know, I'm gonna uh -huh. call auntie, sister, whatever to get you. I'm like, you know, that's cute and fun then. then. You know, you run around with your chest out and you're thinking that you that one, but then you realize, yeah, I was fighting everybody. Yeah. I was known to tear up some stuff. So it kind of make you consider those diagnoses. Or con All right, y'all, we are wrapping up our tabling event and we're gonna show you what we're putting you guys goodie bags. Anytime you see us in public, we have positive affirmation journals for you all. We have a positive affirmation pen and this one says, let your faith be bigger than your fear. What we got going on here? We got us our handy dandy pamphlet and what we do on the inside, bow bow. <laughs> you will be getting mental health awareness, wristband. Yeah. <laughs> this month is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, so we have suicide prevention pins. We have psychoeducation papers, so this one is I'm glad that you are still here. It talks about the warning signs for suicide awareness. We have how to help yourself and others with suicidal ideation and will the World Suicide Prevention Day. All that will be in your bag for the month of September, along with our personal merch for the Relatable Counselor. We have rubber bands. Relate, educate, validate, and your handy lanyard. I'm glad, glad you're here. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. So what did you think about today's event? I think it was wonderful. Great information, great participation. And <laughs> but it's a little hot. Uh, but we made it. Hot. <laughs> what, what was your favorite part? <laughs> My favorite part is really just seeing a lot of people come out and stop at all the different vendors. And I'm just happy that we do have, you know, information, resources for people to reach out if they need help. I think it was a great event. And again, we're glad you're here. So before we go, we are going to start start support groups. It's called Let's Meet in the Middle. So our support group is based off of multiple topics. When you scan the QR code, you can pick the topics that you want to discuss and you can click the groups that you want to be a part of. They are hybrid, so you have the choice of being in person or at home to watch it virtually. Um, there are groups for domestic violence, suicide awareness, parent groups, um, and just a regular mental health group. And we do do outings. So we are gonna partner up with other um, organizations and nonprofits to do our outings with and to provide psychoeducation. And it's gonna start this fall. So feel free to click the, <laughs> feel free to click the scan me code. Um, it's going to be in our link tree as well, and it will also be online. And again, it is Let's Be In The Middle. That is the goal. That is the thing. And we cannot wait to see you guys. Now, thank you for watching our recap. As you see, we have a lot in store for this platform. Now, as far as these future episodes, again, they will be solely based off the stories that you submit online. The setup is just the same. If you would like your story heard on this platform, do the same thing, go onto our website, wellwhathappenwas.com, submit your story on the submission page, fill out the waiver, and it will be read here. And as in the emails, you'll be met with validation and facts and relatability. So tune in next week and just be prepared. Can't wait to see you. 
Okay, so Mandy Brown, recognized as the Relatable Counselor.